my name is Rowan. I'm the athletic trainer here. Hi, Megan. It's nice to meet you, Megan. So I saw you limping. Did you hurt your ankle? Yeah. Um, well, I think I, I, I don't know what I did. Something to it really hurt me. Okay. Well, I'm just going to ask you a few questions and go over some of your medical history, maybe do a few tests and try to figure out what's wrong, okay? Okay. Okay. So can you tell me what happened? Um, I was at basketball practice and I jumped up and I think I just came down wrong on it. Okay. Um, could you demonstrate with your right foot? What happened? Um, yeah, when I was coming down, I kind of went in and over on it. Okay. Like my toes were kind of pointing down a little bit. Okay. I thought I was over on it. Okay. Have you ever had an ankle injury before? Um, yeah, I actually hurt this one last year. Um, what did you do? Uh, they told me I had a second degree sprain, but I also fractured that outside of my ankle. Okay. Um, does this feel the same? Um, not really, like, a little bit, but this one hurt, like, a lot more. So it feels similar, but not as severe? Yeah. All right. Could you rate your pain on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, I'd say, like, 7.5, maybe. Okay, that's still pretty high. Mm -hmm. That's bothering you a lot. Yeah. Can you point with one finger where it hurts? Yeah, it's hurting, like, down here, down in my hand down here. Okay. It's a little bit towards the front and right below. Um, yeah, right below that bone in my hand. Okay. So does that pain stay in one spot? Does it radiate anywhere else? Um, it's pretty much down there, but the muscles on the outside of my leg are all sore. Oh, okay. So could you describe the pain for me? Um, is it sharp? Is it tingly? Um, it's kind of like pulsating a little bit uh, if I like let it hang down and it like so it's throbbing. Yeah, and okay. then if I like try to put any pressure on it, uh, it's pretty sharp. So that sharp pain is right where you're pointing before. Yeah. All right. So is there anything you do that makes it feel better? Uh, I try icing it a little bit. I mean, it helped for a little bit, and then it went back to being painful. Okay, so no noticeable change, really? Not really, no. Okay. Um, is there anything that you do that's going to make you feel worse, or is anything hard to do day to day? Um, trying to walk on it is just not happening at all right yeah. now. Um, and I can't wear my shoes because my foot is too swollen. Yeah, your foot does look significantly bigger than the other one. Did you say this happened yesterday? Yeah. Okay, and you were at practice or game? At practice. Practice, yeah. all right. These are about the only shoes I can get on. The other ones, I can't tie them. They seem to kind of hurt. Did you hear a pop when you injured it? Yeah, just before um, my ankle kind of like touched the ground a little bit. On the oh, outside. so you rolled it and you made contact with the ground? A little bit, yeah, oh, okay. I think so. But and you heard the pop before? Yeah. Okay. So how soon after it happened did you notice it start to swell up? Because that is a very swollen ankle. Um, pretty much immediately after. Okay. Um, have you done anything to try to make it feel better since the injury? I know you said you tried to ice it. Have you tried taking any medication or wrapping it? Or um, I took a bit of ibuprofen, and it kind of helped for a little bit, but then the pain came back again. Okay, so again, no, no real noticeable difference? Not really. All right. Have you noticed any change in your pain since yesterday and today? Has it gone down or gotten worse? It's just really achy. Sore? Yeah, but it's okay. still really painful. Okay. Um, I know you can't put on regular shoes right now, but what type of shoes are you wearing when it happened? I have my basketball shoes on, so they're like high socks. So they're full ankle covers? Yeah. Were they relatively newer or had you had them for a while? No, we, uh, the team just got new shoes actually last month. So oh, okay. They're pretty new. So you're still breaking them in? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So for my observation, um, I would perform some special tests such as the anterior drawer and the tailor tilt test um, to determine which ligaments had been injured. I would also have Megan perform certain actions like dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, inversion, and eversion on her own and resistive. And that would just be to test um, how painful certain movements are and to see if there's any issue with the muscle. And also I'd palpate the area to see if there were any deformities, like if I could feel a bone or if I could feel an obvious divot where the ligament was.
So from what you've been telling me and the pain you've been having, I suspect that you have an ankle sprain. I think you have damaged your ATF and your CF, the ligament right here and down here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know the grade of your sprain, so I'm going to order an MRI so we can figure that out, but I suspect it's either grade 2 or 3. And I would really also like you to get an x-ray to rule out fracture. So I am going to refer you to the team doctor for that. Um, do you have any questions for me? Um, what exactly do you mean by the grades? So there's three grades of sprains. There's grade one, two, and three. With a grade one ankle sprain, um, you basically just overstretch the ligament. So it's going to cause some discomfort, some mild swelling, but the recovery is not too serious. With a grade two, you have torn the ligament, but it's not all the way through. It's just a partial tear. And then with a grade three, you've completely torn the ligament. Um, but the pain you're telling me, it does indicate probably grade two or three. Okay. So do you have any short-term goals? Um, just a decrease of pain is what I would say. Yeah. Okay. And your long-term goals? Um, walking, get back out on, playing again on the court. Okay. Sounds good to me. So today we're just going to do a few things before you leave. Um, nothing serious since this injury is so fresh. We're going to really rest it for the next three days, but before you leave today, we're also going to ice it, and I'm going to wrap it with an ace bandage and a horseshoe pad to try to reduce some of that swelling. When you go home today, just make sure you're resting and elevating your leg. Make sure it's above your heart or you're not really doing anything for it. Um, I'm also going to send you home with some exercises to make sure that you're keeping some strength in that ankle. And if it starts to hurt, don't try to walk through the pain. We're going to keep you off of it for the most part, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Megan. Thank you.